This I-Team report about a Jacksonville man who died days after getting out of jail. His family says while in jail, he did not receive medication he depended on to survive as a heart transplant recipient. Dexter Berry was 54. Body camera video shows him repeatedly telling the officer he needs his medication. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Ann Maxwell has been digging into the documents and joins us live. Ann. Mary, this incident, which was first reported by the tributary, is raising questions about how the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office provides health care to inmates here at the jail. Barry's family, as well as their attorney, claim his death was the result of a systemic problem. Never in a million years would we have thought we would lose our dad, let alone in the way that he, he passed. Dexter Berry leaves behind a wife and four children, including Janelle King and Dexter Berry Jr. My dad was like my best friend, you know, my whole life. Police footage shows 54-year-old Berry in the back of a cop car on November 18th, telling the officer he has to have his medication. I take rejection medicine for my heart transplant. Okay. I can't miss no doses. Patients with organ transplants take daily medication to keep their bodies from rejecting the organ. According to Duke Health, stopping the medication can quickly cause the body to reject the heart and result in death. My medicine costs two thousand dollars, bro. He explains he waited more than two years to get the heart transplant. The officer tells him he can get his meds at the jail. Something happened to me because my heart is gonna be a problem. Well, because I waited twenty seven months to get that. Heart. My blood type. Okay, well, just make sure you tell them. Yeah, I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them everything. Attorney Andrew Bondarud, who represents Barry's family, says a health report from earlier in the year was positive. It was a healthy, stable heart. He was taking his medication uh, like he should three times a day. Then November rolls around. That's when Barry was arrested on a charge of simple assault. He and his neighbor had a dispute over the Wi Fi. I didn't pull my hands no, off. So, no, so you're confusing assault for battery. Battery is physical contact. Assault is a threat by words to cause harm, causing fear. He was booked into jail and appeared before a judge the following day. The court transcript shows he told the judge he hadn't taken his medication all day. The judge responded okay and set a bond of $503. He was released after spending two days in jail. He didn't sound like himself that Monday when I spoke to him. He says his dad went to the hospital, but three days later he died at UF Health. Barry's death certificate shows his heart stopped, but an autopsy was not performed. The family hired their own pathologist to conduct a report. They wrote the cause of death was cardiac arrest, but said they do not feel qualified to judge the effect of the medication being missed for a few days. Bondarud says JSO hasn't provided Barry's medical records. And the sheriff's office has stonewalled me. He's not the first, and this is why I feel like we're fighting so hard for this to get the justice it deserves because he needs to be the last. If convicted, Barry could have faced a maximum of 60 days in jail. And again, his children are devastated. They're planning on filing a lawsuit. We received a comment from the American Board of Trial Advocates saying any suggestion the judge who saw Barry after he was arrested did anything wrong would be unfair. They note it's the jailers who have the constitutional responsibility to provide inmates with the medications they need. We also reached out to JSO. A spokesperson said they can't comment in depth on this situation because of that pending litigation. Reporting live from the South Bank and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.